you know, like I, I learned something I remember from one of my um, one of my old judo coaches in regards to why uh, uh, Ipon, you know, when, when in competition in judo, when you uh, when you throw someone on their back, it's essentially yeah. over. And when you do Osai Komi, you know, for uh, 20 seconds, uh, it's over also. Uh, do, do you do you do you know, like the significance of that? Like, I know that um, the Ippon, especially on the back, it's like symbolizes someone's death. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe the Osaikomi also, like, if I can pin you and hold you down that long, I, I can easily, if it's the battlefield, I can easily pull out a weapon and just end you. So basically exactly. someone's death. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, so like, for the people who are listening, in judo, if you throw somebody and it's over, and uh, you might think to yourself, well, why is that? Because, you know, in jujitsu, we would continue. You know, we would continue rolling on the ground and all that. But now, if you imagine yourself back in feudal Japan and you're on the battlefield, so there's like, let's say, 2,000 samurais with swords, you know, and all kinds of weapons and armor. Yeah. And then you have another 2,000 on the other side. And we're all going to run at each other and we're going to clash. And we're going to try and kill each other. Well, here's the thing. Um, if I get, if I throw you on the ground, we're going to clash. And if I throw you on the ground, well, the next step is I'm going to stab you <laughs> or somebody's going to stab you with the yeah, sword. Or if I throw you or um, I kept charging, the guy behind me is going to just stick his sword and can also continue running. Exactly. Exactly. Like I'm going to throw you. And then, you know, my teammate next to me or behind me is going to, Oh, there he, there he is. He's right there on the ground, Shock, you know, and just stab you in the neck and you'd be dead, you know? And yeah. of course, uh, if, if for whatever reason, like I'm able to hold you down, uh, I think most of the samurais, they didn't just have the, the katana, they had like daggers too. So they could pull out the, the, the dagger and they could stab the person. So that's where it all comes from. That's why the idea that, um, uh, like I'm saying this for, for the viewers, right? That if you throw somebody, it's over because, you know, like on the battlefield in those days, you'd be dead. You'd be stabbed and it would be over. So there's no, there's no guard pulling. There's no bearing bolo. There's no... <laughs> <laughs> you know and, and that's where yeah. it comes from and even even the um you know the bowing in in um you know how um i think it's called seiza right like you know when you start a judo class you go on your knees and then yeah. to get up it's your right leg that that your right uh your right knee comes up your right foot yeah. goes up and the reason for that is because well on your usually the the katana is held on the uh, on on the yeah. on the left side so you, if you want to come up off your knees, you have to, you know, come up with your right leg so that you have, you have the sword here. So you could, you could pull it out and tack, tack, and, you know, at the same, yeah. you could draw your sword at the same time. So that's where it all comes from. Like the idea that, um, you know, like the Epon, like if you throw the guy on his back, it's over, you won. If you hold him down, it's, it's, it's done also. So yeah, I, uh, I just wanted to do, to, to talk to you about that. And I'm not surprised that you, you know about it, but I was like, Hey, maybe you don't. And maybe, you know, it would be interesting something yeah. to talk about. Um, also like you don't have to go back that far uh, in the past, like go watch on YouTube, uh, street fight judo, whatever you see a throw and bam, the guy is like sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. It's a dangerous thing. Like I, I saw this one video once, like I'd have to find it again and maybe post it. The on African it. woman. Oh, like no, was... I, I saw that one. I saw that yeah, one. That's so brutal. Like the way she dropped down and bam. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Because even if you don't fall on your back, I, I was actually explaining this to, to a friend of mine the other day. And like, even if, uh, let's say I, I go Ipon Seo Nage, right? Ipon Seo and I drop and I go really low. And even if you don't land on your shoulders, but the thing is that I drop so fast and you don't expect it, your face is going to, you're going to face plant right into the pavement and you're going to be knocked out and you're going to be all, all kinds of messed up. I actually saw that in the octagon there. I saw this, uh, this compilation, um, like judo throws some, um, there was this one guy that tried to do drop Serenaya, but he actually missed him. So, um, he went over to the other side and just like, he ended up just dragging the arm down. Mm -hmm. without you know, really doing the shoulder throw and you know uh, loading him on his back. And the guy went like flat on his torso and face and it was a KO in the yeah. octagon. 
Oh, okay. In the octagon. Okay. Was this yes. in the UFC or like some other organization? I saw it a while back. If I find it again, I'm like, I'm going to look for it and then send it to you because it was like a, a bad serenade. Like if you do that in judo, people are going to be like, are you an orange belt? Like, cause he missed him. He completely missed him. And then just ended up dragging his hand mm -hmm. and landed like torso wise, like on his torso and just KO. Yeah, yeah, that's it because it's it's the pavement. It's actually very dangerous to do like um, because you know, and I, I made a video regarding this. Like, if you if you do judo like like for in, in in the streets, you know, because you got into an altercation, man, the yeah. danger is even if you're high level, right? Because in Randori, when you're in your club, like you, we hold each other back. Like we hold the sleeve so that the person lands only on the side, so that yeah. you know, it, their their head doesn't smash to the ground, so they don't get hurt. It lessens the impact but if you're doing it because you're getting into some kind of uh, argument in the street most likely you're gonna throw with with uh with force with power and if you throw hard enough like and, and you're in a situation where you know you're arguing with the guy you, the adrenaline the the anger you're not gonna be able to control yourself and if you smash the guy hard enough on the ground you're gonna get into a lot of trouble because these the guy might uh he might die he might have brain damage you might put him in a coma you know so yeah. it it's, it's, um, it's kind of a, um, kind of a scary thought when you think about it, you know, because there, there's yeah. like, if you're in a self-defense situation and what happens is that, okay, the guy, like, let's say push you, he punch you and you manage to block and then you throw him so hard that you knock him out. Like, you're still going to have to explain that in court. 